morning everyone welcome to Megan Sullivan art now today I'm here to show you through something different so it's not a journal flip through but what it is is a collection of clutches and small purses that I've been making from fluid art canvases of mine because I got a little bit addicted um, a couple of years ago and had lots of canvases laying around um, I've used a lot of their off you know the cuts of my um, fluid art to turn into journal covers so for little mini notebooks and things like that and as feature sections on bigger journals um, and there is a lady or a couple of people I know of that are you know around Australia and whatever that are making clutches um, from artwork or from fabric and then using PVC as a protective outer so that's what I've done so I just wanted to show you through what I have at the moment this pile here is due to go to Central Craft in Alice Springs to their retail shop there um, and this other pile is what I have left, which will be going to my market stall. Uh, and then my local hairdresser also has um, a handful as well to sell. Um, so let's run through. So here's all my details. Um, Megan Sullivan Art, no matter where you look on um, uh, my website, which needs updating. But I've got Etsy, Facebook um, and Instagram as well. So that's how you can track me down. Put that over there. Okay, so the first one is just, so I'm, I'm trying to not have waste. So every piece of the painting I'm using, so that's why they are all different random sizes, essentially. Um, so this is a small purse. So that's got, I've just gone with this elastic closure because it's nice and easy and simple. Um, and we've got a bright green paint there. There are metallics on the back of this one. I'm not sure if you can see through the glossiness of the PVC. Um, and where some of the paintings had cracked as well so I've put this um, pe um, faux leather kind of strip across here which I got from Spotlight and um, so that's working really well um, and the insides all have some kind of coordinating or, or wacky kind of fabric so that one's got a really bright fabric there so they come out of the PVC closure um, but they shouldn't really need to be removed because the paintings only just become more fragile the more they're taken in and out so that's that little one. This one I really like. Um, this was done on quite a thick canvas, so I had to actually physically cut the painting and then stitch it together with those that iridescent kind of um, faux leather. So there's silver and teal and blue and like a not a red necessarily, but more of a magenta y pinky kind of colour in that one. So that one opens up. There's like a waratah fabric in that one, just an open pouch. That one's really pretty. Quite like to, I don't know, it may end up as mine. I'm not sure yet. This is another little one. Um, so purples and pinks and metallic blue. And there, some of them feature white, some of them feature silver. So nice metallic blue veining across the back of that one. So this was a really big painting. This was the biggest canvas I'd ever done. So there's a lot of clutches um, in this painting. You'll see another one coming up. So it's got a purple kind of lining in that one there really cute sort of big enough to fit maybe your phone um, in there key card and things like that or it could be for your personal items your makeup etc now this was a doodle that i had done on black canvas uh, sorry on black mat board my friend has the original um, i blew it up and made it into a stretch canvas for sale um, and i've since cut that up into three clutches i think so this is a smaller clutch. This one I'm selling for 35. It's got a white elastic closure <clears throat> and this beautiful gold Australiana fabric, which has got a gold fleck all the way through it as well. And these bigger clutches, like this size and up, will come with a, just a clear PVC pouch with a Velcro closure big enough to fit notes and coins and your credit card and driver's license in them just to keep them so they're not loose floating around in the bag. So here's another one from this same canvas just a different portion so I did this one in about eight different pores um, separate pores because it was a really big big canvas so this one is um, going to be selling for 60 so nice pinks lots of pinks in this one dark blues there's lots of metallic through here blue and silver metallic it comes with a, um, a wrist strap which isn't detachable it's sewn into the PVC cover and this one has a really bright geometric fabric and matching strap and just a big open inside again so that will come with a PVC little pouch for um, key cards etc 
Um, this is from a different canvas. So this one I've decided to put beads on the stretchy elastic, which was really uh, annoying and tricky to do. So I may only do that occasionally, although it looks, I really like the look of it. Um, so these bigger clutches have a wadding in them as well. So they're a little bit, you know, padded, a bit gushy, which I really like. That's the back of that one. Still a bit of, a little bit of metallics through that one, but not a lot. There's a bit of metallic blue when you look up close to that one. So again, that just comes off and the beads are tied in between knots so they won't go flying around the whole elastic. Again, it's got the same bright fabric as that one on the inside. And that just stretches over. So with this hat elastic, it was difficult getting beads that were had a pole big enough, but these were some of the ones I had in my collection already. So those bags will be sold locally in Alice Springs. This next lot are going to be um, on my Etsy shop and down also at the markets in Alice Springs. So this was from a different canvas again, and this was an, um, you know, like a, an off cut, a smaller piece. So I just decided to turn it into a little coin purse. I had two and I sold one at the last market. So this one has a press stud closure with this bright fabric. So these smaller ones have no wadding in them. And the press studs were, yeah, a bit annoying to fit. So that's why I kind of went from press studs to elastic. This is from the same painting as this one, just another portion. So a smaller clutch, this one does have the metallic blue through it. More white, love the back of that one. Oh, excuse me, and this one has this blue floral kind of ornate fabric, which I really like. Got that um, new up in Spotlight in Darwin. Um, this is a black and silver and black glitter paint um, pour that I did. And I have kind of, you may not be able to tell, but I've done with grey stitching and crazy stitched around to create like a quilted look on the inside. Um, so this one has a, a skull and raven fabric as the liner. Gone a bit of goth with that one. I'm not sure if you can tell, but there's a raven there, a jaw, a rib cage, roses and more skulls down on the inside lots of roses so that's kind of funky like that one so that's a bit taller than than that one there definitely would fit your phone in that one another tall one from the purple and pink painting and all the offcuts of pvc because i am having offcuts of pvc will be used to make those smaller pouches but also lots of other projects that we do so where i want to create a window in a page or create a specimen card um, or just pouches to send out, um, you know, happy mail and things like that when I get the chance to get around to it. So this one's got a leopard print, um, a pink and black and dark blue leopard print fabric. So this could be a glasses case, like there is enough room there to put a pair of glasses in there. And that one, this is another one of the slightly bigger than the last purse that I had. Same painting, same um, how I had to stitch it together. So this is a lot more firmer than some of the others because it was done on a thicker canvas. It's got this gorgeous red fabric um, on the inside there. And I went with a couple of different shapes. So you notice this one has um, a, tr a triangle that I've cut the top off of. This one has rounded edges. Um, so I'm going to be doing some different shapes to the new lot where I can. Just to separate them from other people that are making this style of purse even though mine are paintings I just want to be different um, this is quite a long clutch this one wider than any of the others that I've done but it's not as tall so it's a very unique shape again not wanting to create any wastage so there is a lot of gold metallic through this painting um, and there is a little bit of cracking so if that puts someone off that's no problem I'll add it to my collection but it's protected in the PVC so if you're not taking this painting in and out of its cover it'll be perfectly fine so that also matches one of the other little purses that I've done. Again, it's got that same psychedelic bright fabric on the inside, which I just thought was really, uh, it matches all the colours, but it's, yeah, it's a bit wacky. And anyway, um, another black doodle art clutch, this time with a bead dangle rather than a full elastic closure. That holds it shut enough. And this one has the leopard print on the inside. 
another one from that big or from this painting again different size clutch a bit smaller and this one has a matching wristlet which has got Australiana flowers and galahs on it and it has a press stud closure and that's the matching fabric and this one I did put a pocket in because I had a little extra so that is big enough to fit a credit card in there but I will also enclose one of the the clear PVC little pouches as well um, this came from a nice beautiful ocean colored painting that I did and there is a bit of teal in there dark blue whites different shades of blue and this one has this blue little hints of purple but it's mainly blue and white um, on the inside that one there and so with these clutches with the deeper top you could fit some of them you can fit a, a mobile phone in the top which also helps to weigh the top down so I did decide, oh, did decide to do some more squarer type clutches as well. That one. And this is another square one from a bright painting, which I've had another purse of this one. Really super bright colours, this one. Really gorgeous. I did three, I think, in the series of this particular pour. And a couple of them had sold, so I was just left with one that I've redone. So press stud closure with that bright fabric. There's no handle with this one. And just an open pocket on the inside there. Press stud. Alrighty, so that does my handbags for the moment. Um, I've got two more big, big paintings, like 30 by 30 inch paintings that I will be um, cutting down to make purses with as well. Um, and... Yeah, so they'll preview in the next couple of weeks. But um, I will put the link for Etsy once I have all these loaded. Hopefully I can, hopefully, you know, hopefully with my bit of time off today, I can get those up online. Um, but I will post the link to the shop um, below the video once they're up and ready to rock and roll. Alrighty, thanks everyone. Have a great day. Bye.